keep it in the budget of 25 rupees per use. Okay. These charges were fixed about 15 years ago. Okay. We have not increased those charges. <laughs> when we, when the linen started about 10-15 years ago, <laughs> the washing cost was approximately 12 to 13 rupees per bedroll. Less <laughs> was the cost of the linen. <laughs> And by 2005 or 6, mm -hmm. the cost of a bedroll increased to about 30 rupees per bedroll. Okay. That was the time when we invoked laundries. Mm -hmm. That gave us the economy of scales mm -hmm. and plus plenty of uh, quality improvement also. Mm -hmm. The economy of scales was such a great thing in the laundry is that our cost from 30 rupees suddenly dropped to 20, okay. 20 or even 80. Mm -hmm. So again we were, it was possible not to increase the cost at all. Mm -hmm. Now the cost is about, it is, it is almost touching 25 mm -hmm. now. 25 will include cost of the bedroll itself which we use approximately 100 times. Okay. So cost of the Capital cost of the bedroll becomes about 5 rupees per use mm -hmm. and washing becomes approximately 20 to 21 rupees okay. per, per use. So maybe after 2-3 years we have to increase charges but mm -hmm. with the help of mechanized laundries we will we were able to sustain the same rate of mm -hmm. cost of bedroll for approximately 20 to 25 years. Mm -hmm. We have two types of laundries, one is uh, front loading machines which okay. are called washer extractors mm -hmm. and then we have tunnels. Okay. Tunnels are very economical on water also mm -hmm. and uh, in any case both the methods are very very economical compared to manual mm -hmm. washing. And in terms of technology how updated In terms they are? of technology they are again very latest ones. Latest. The quality of detergents is also very mm -hmm. good. Earlier, the, if you do manual washing, the bedroll mm -hmm. will last only for about six months. Mm -hmm. Now the same bedroll is lasting for approximately one year and in some cases even 18 months. Okay. So cost of the capital cost of the bedroll goes down, cost of the washing goes down mm -hmm. and since it is not touched by hand, there is no chances of any infection or there is no chance of any mm -hmm. uh, the cleanliness is flawless. The total okay. complaints which we mm -hmm. used to get on on, on this front, mm -hmm. on the front of bedrolls, mm -hmm. they have reduced to now they are not more than one or two percent of what they were earlier. Okay. Any other issue uh, like uh, hygiene is not proper or something that way uh, you are getting any complaint like that? Or how do you monitor the quality like because, uh, of the clean uh, laundry? In the period of time, we have also introduced cotton covers for the mm -hmm. blankets. Pillow cover in any case is, uh, any case is changed mm -hmm. every time. Uh, now the issues are mostly related to certain areas of the country where people use color on their head dyes. Okay. And that gets transferred to the mm -hmm. pillow cover or there are complaints in many parts like uh, North India or Bihar where mm -hmm. usually the hand towels, mm -hmm. they are taken away by oh. some public as mm -hmm. souvenirs, mm -hmm. they are not returned. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the people who contractual labor which mm -hmm. who are engaged in distribution of uh, linen. Mm -hmm. Those poor people have to pay through their pocket mm -hmm. because as per the norms, as, that, that, is, mm -hmm. that is the railway norm. Mm -hmm. uh, because if any linen is lost, mm -hmm. that the poor distributor has to pay. Mm -hmm. He is a very lowly paid mm -hmm. employee. He gets about twenty yeah. thousand, fifteen okay. to twenty thousand per month. Mm -hmm. So if he loses about uh, thirty, forty hand towels in a month, mm -hmm. he has to pay approximately two thousand rupees per month on this. Rate. Okay. That is one big problem. The mm -hmm. second problem comes as I told you with the stains on them. Mm -hmm. Certain people will 
wipe their hands after eating food with mm-hmm. the bed sheet or some people will use uh, oil stains or something there so yeah. oil stains and dyes which mm-hmm. they use they sometimes create problems mm-hmm. but then mechanized entries are able to handle that mm-hmm. those those heavily stained clothes are segregated and uh, this company who's into the detergent for mm-hmm. tunnel washers and uh, mm-hmm. washer extractors Johnson Diversity they have okay. made some new chemicals only mm-hmm. for heavily stained only for the purpose of railways okay so their r&d department has made some new detergents mm-hmm. which what is the name of the uh, i mean detergent these detergents in terms of r1 or something they are known as mm-hmm. uh, by their trade name only mm-hmm. but they are new formulas okay instead okay. of four four chemicals they will use six chemicals okay cycle will be slightly mm-hmm. longer so they have their R&D on and, and that's customized solution only for railways. Okay. So customized for heavily stained mm-hmm. linen. This this type of linen is far far superior to uh, disposable linen, which sometimes we think of. Mm-hmm. 